Okay, uh, we're just going to do a quick video on putting the mount, the cross mount, onto the M8P Manta board, and then the two DIN mounts that click into the DIN rail. Um, a forewarning though, I have been known to put the mounts on backwards, just saying. So, watch and learn <laughs> is all I can say. Hint, second video. <laughs> right -o. Okay, before you mount your board, you just need to double check that you've got a few things set up. Okay. So, first of all, you need to have your fan jumpers in here. So, when th these, these fan jumpers here are for your cooling fans for underneath the bed, like underneath where the, all, all the uh, electronics and that go. So they're all 24 volt here. If you've got 24 volt fans, if it's the next line up, it's 12, and the next line up's five, okay? So you can set each one of those three levels. Just make sure also that you have, so for normal situation, if you're not doing, if you're using an X and, X and a Y end stop you're just going to run all your jumpers there's there's one on the left one on the left one on the right 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 don't worry about these end two don't worry about that and then um you would you have this is for your voltage your power that's your power rail running right through there <clears throat> um you need to have the second one in on each one of these red and black bays second one in second one second one second 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 don't worry about the seventh one and then um, if you're running homeless sensing you leave them all the same and you add in this one here into the diagnostic port which is directly below the the black um chocker block line and then the same, that's on the B motor, and this is on the A motor here. You have that one, on that one there, on the diagnostic, right directly below that black port. You have your 120 ohm resistor. And then if you're programming off the machine, you have your 5 volt um, jumper here, and you pull that off for installation into the machine. Okay, and then you've got your CB1 of course. Right, so let's flip it over. I just want to show you, um, I've mounted the bracket for securing. So you'll see in the build kit, there's one bracket that looks like this. It'll say, I can't remember what it actually says. Um, main board, whatever. And then, and then it says, there's four other brackets, which are for the power supply. And then there's two separate brackets which are these two here which basically screw into these four screws here so these mount there 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 and there and it's actually um it's not the same way both sides so just make sure you get it the right way around one's got a steeper angle than the other this one here's got an offset leg um, these ones here are even but this one's an offset leg this one okay so um the other thing i noticed that i had to do i had to drill out these here off off the machine off the speed I, uh, because these here wouldn't go through i had to drill these out uh half a millimeter and i had to drill these out half a millimeter just so that i could screw them in so when you screw them in so these these are screwed in and tight they were fine um you need to make sure that you put them on the same way on both sides. So don't have one this way and one that way. Have them both in the same direction. So we'll just screw them on quickly. And don't use too long a screw either because the other thing I noticed is that the screws that came with this for this um, didn't actually fit so you had to put a bigger screw in and you just you've absolutely got to make sure you're not putting too long 
so that it screws into the board or screws and touches a, a, a contact of the soldered side. So these here are 12 millimeter long, I think they're 2.5s or it could be even 3s. So notice I'm putting this one on the same way as this one here. Screw it in a couple of turns until I can get the thread just poking through and that'll get it started and then just give this a wiggle until it lines up and just nip it up don't do it too tight you'll break the bracket support it with your hand and that just clips into the din rail just like that <clears throat> okay so we'll flip it back over and then we've just got to put these motors back in uh, these dry, uh, stepper drivers back in And that's all the drivers and just give them a bit of a press down to make sure. <clears throat> you will have to put these on separately, the heat sinks. But that's ready to install in the machine. And we're going to get into that <clears throat> in the video coming up actually. Yeah. So just ignore all these wires in here. <laughs> um, I actually missed this video for you guys so I'm just going to do it again. Um, so this is just the mounting of the board. So we've got our mounts on and now we're going to install them. So if you have a look here, this we need to click in this side first and then snap it down into that side. Okay. So hopefully we should be able to get this in place. Yeah. Up seeing too many wires and certain things. So we want to get this on its back side in first. Oh no, we've got to we've got to flip these around. It's offset, hey. The mounts are offset, so I had a 50-50 chance of getting it right. So I've got to spin this around and then put it on. Take this one off. into the hole with a little bit of thread that's coming through get it started move to the back one get that in nip it up so it's nice and tight but not so tight you snap the bracket check these two okay so now that should allow us to slip it in from the back side. Just push all this stuff up out of the way. So we'll hook in from the back and then snap in like so. So it's ready for me to put all the wiring back in again. So you won't have to worry about this because we'll do this together. But I just wanted to show you how to click that in there. So it's probably about an inch from the, just over an inch from the end here. And that's ready for me to, you know, put my CAN bus and all that sort of stuff back in. Alright. 
So just ignore all these wires in here. <laughs> um, I actually missed this video for you guys, so I'm just going to do it again. Um, so this is just the mounting of the board. So we've got our mounts on. And now we're going to install them. So if you have a look here, this we need to click in this side first and then snap it down into that side. Okay. So hopefully we should be able to get this in place without upsetting too many wires and things. So we want to get this on this back side in first. Oh no, we've got to, we've got to flip these around. It's offset, eh? The mounts are offset, so I had a 50-50 chance of getting it right. So I've got to spin this around and then put it on. into the hole, put a little bit of thread that's coming through, get it started, move to the back one, get that in, snap it up so it's nice and tight, but not so tight you snap the bracket, check these two, okay, so now that should allow us to slip it in from the back side. Just push all this stuff up out of the way. So we'll hook in from the back and then snap in like so. So it's ready for me to put all the wiring back in again. So you won't have to worry about this because we'll do this together. But I just wanted to show you how to click that in there. So it's probably about an inch from the, just over an inch from the end here. And that's ready for me to, you know, put my CAN bus and all that sort of stuff back in. All right. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see, please comment below. If you've got any suggestions or information that you'd like to share, um, more than happy to check it out so smash the like hit the subscribe and ring the bell and we'll see you in the next one cheers westy over and out